Ooh, I'm in your bowl, let's see. Hey guys, I'm back out. It's a Saturday morning, it's pretty early. I'm out here with Lee today. The sun's just coming up. We bashed out. Uh, as per usual, the forecast is not 100% right. It's got a lot more south in it than they forecast, but kind of getting used to that now. It's not totally ugly. It's not totally nice either. But anyway, we've got a few baits in the water. I've got a soft plastic out. We're gonna try and see if we can't get a snapper as the sun comes up. I'm the Abrolus too. We've been out here for a while. I'm casting around this Abrolus 7 inch whip bait. The crazy snook or yellowfin sea pike, whatever you want to call them. Those slimy suckers with teeth that shred all your leaders. We've caught about 10 of them so far. I bloody hate those things. Anyway, my Abrolus has got smashed on the way down there. It was on the, it was just sinking. I cast it out and it was on its way down. And something's given it a hammer. Could be a snapper. I'll say it feels a little snapperish. <laughs> Someone commented on one of my videos before about feeling a little snapperish. <laughs> so this is my last chance on using this beautiful diver cal this beautiful diver caldea. As you can see how smooth the drag is on it. I'm actually taking it back to the shop today. This is my last chance to, I'm doing the drag up on it. This is my last chance to come out and use it. I was really hoping to catch another decent fish on it. Seems like this one's not too bad. Yeah, it's a pinky. Oh, it's a pinky pop. Decent too. Net. That'll do. Yeehoo! Oh, this is Oh, there you go. Beautiful pink snapper. As you can see, he smashed out a brawler's whip bait there. Perfect, that's what we come out here for. I'm gonna get that jig out of his mouth. I'm gonna measure him quickly, and then this one can go back. Yew! Give him a quick measure. 80 centimeters. Right on 80 centimeters. Look at him in the sun. Beautiful. Once more, the bull whip minnow <laughs> on the drop. It's only small, but it's had a go, whatever. Oh, it's a skippy. Oh, it's just... They're skippy. Once they get side on, they really go. Oh. Stand still. Stand still. There you go, Skippy. He's inhaled that bull with you know. He's giving it a solid, solid go. Good thing with Skippies, they got really soft mouth, so you can just pull them out like that. He release easy as pie. Yeah. That's a 3 8 TT jig head with a 5 inch Fire Tiger Gold. If that won't catch a snapper, nothing will. I've got so many snapper on these gulps, they just love them. All right, so the sun's come up a little bit. The water is beautiful and clear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the drone up. Lee's gonna fly the drone and do a bit of footage. We'll show you exactly where we are without actually showing you where we are. Um, 
it's kind of the game we like to play. Keep the mystery. There's so many spots along our coastline, guys. Honestly, you don't need to use other people's spots. You don't need to dog other people. Just get out there and explore. It, it just takes time, that's all it is. You can't expect to buy a boat and start catching big fish the very next day because that's just not how it works. You just have to get out there, spend some time on the water, um, explore, take the pressure off, forget about the fish. Don't worry about catching fish. Just get out there and enjoy your time on the water. The fish will come when they're ready. Anyway, we'll get the drain up and show you some footage. For us today we've been out here for about an hour and a half we got one decent fish a couple of small ones a couple of skippy got plagued by those crazy slimy snooks early on this morning i don't know where they went they just disappeared all of a sudden which i'm glad of those things do nothing but shred your leader uh, i've just got no respect for them i know a lot of people eat them and they have got really nice flesh to be fair but i just hate them when you're trying to fish for snapper they just eat all your baits and they shred your leaders and they're just a pain in the backside so anyway, we're going to head in a little bit, go for a swim. Um, I don't generally like to swim where I've just been bailing up for the last hour. It just doesn't really make much sense to me. So we're going to burn in a little bit and go for a swim a bit further in. Uh, this will be the last you see of this awesome combo. Thanks to the guys at Southside Boating and Tackle. I've um, got to take this back today, but they're going to give me something else to trial for a while, so that'll be good. I'm excited about that, but I'm also sad to see this Caldego. It's such a beautiful reel. Um, the rod has been beautiful. It really it did a great job on that big kingy the other week, which was sort of a bit, you know, a bit out of its league, really, a fish of that size, but it did it and it got it done. So, yeah, I'll be sad to see it go, but it'll be interesting to see what Southside have got for me down there. We'll try a new combo and um, hopefully we'll get something decent on that for them as well. So if you like our stuff, subscribe. Don't forget, put comments down below if you've got any questions or you want to see anything that we're not doing that you'd want to see. We'll give it a shot and we'll see you in the next episode. Yo!